Hi Pisces, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your um, 21 card Gypsy Tarot Love Spread for the month of June. I don't always do these spreads, but it, I thought, well, it would be quite a nice because we've got mid-year. We've got mid-year, it's six months into the year now, wow. And it's gone so fast, so I thought it would be really nice just to do a love spread for uh, the month for you guys using the 21 card Gypsy Tarot uh, spread. So we're just gonna shuffle the energies out. This won't be for every month, no. But I thought it would be nice for this month. So Universe Spirit, show me. Show me what's coming in for um, Pisces. Show me Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. I only wanna see the love reading for them. So I just wanna see love for Pisces. What's coming in in terms of love for Pisces? Show me love for Pisces in the month of June 2017. What's coming in for Pisces? Show me love for Pisces. What's coming in for Pisces and love? Show me Pisces and love. What's coming in for Pisces and love? What's coming in for Pisces and love? Show me Pisces and love. What can you see coming in in terms of Pisces and love for the month of June 2017? Show me. Okay, so we're going to. I've shuffled, I forgot to mention, I'm using the Victorial Key Tarot. A uh, deck I bought on Amazon last week, really, really lovely cards, beautiful. So we're going to split this deck into three, like so. We're going to collect it back up, and then what we're going to do, Pisces, um, is we are going to uh, put down the cards. So obviously it's in rows of seven from right to left that I do these um, readings, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Oh, here we go. Four, five, six, and uh, seven. There we go. So, yeah, we've got all the cards laid down, and we'll see what's happening for some of you guys in terms of love in the month of June 2017. So we want to go to the mental area. What's the situation around this? Well, you've got the Five of Swords. So, Five of Swords in terms of love is not really a good card to get, to be honest with you. Sometimes this means you've got competitors in love. Sometimes this means a situation that's funny. Sometimes it means somebody's taking advantage. So, it can mean that somebody has less than desirable uh, intentions in terms of love. Sometimes this can mean jealousy as well, um, maybe from a partner. But often when I see the Five of Swords uh, in terms of love, I feel that there is... Um, a situation where there is an imbalance I feel in power in terms of um, relationships and something needs a little bit more of a resolution on it with this five what's how does that figure then in terms of your emotional and mental well you've got the strength card here so I feel that emotionally and mentally you want to hold on uh, the situation seems to be around some form of uh, unequal balance in terms of a relationship it might be where one of you holds more power the other one doesn't uh pisces uh, quite similar in a way to the cancer reading i did for this as well but i feel that there is a sense of um dissatisfaction around this five of swords five of swords in terms of love for me can often mean severance in love as well so sometimes this can represent a divorce the ending of a relationship it can also mean with the five of swords that somebody has their own interests okay so it's not a great card for me five of swords sometimes mean where somebody puts their own interests first in terms of relationships so you might be dealing with somebody who's putting their own interests first as well in terms of this five of swords energy and this would show us the person here somebody who will win at all cost sometimes this is somebody i think that some of you guys might be dealing with an air sign person potentially uh pisces it could be somebody who actually puts their own interests first in terms of romance love and but the problem is is that you guys seem to be you know the mental and emotional is strength and that is the need to hold on um to a situation regardless of the situation emotionally in terms of strength it's having the emotional strength to withstand and endure the situation 
mentally it's about having the mental strength to withdraw so this is all about mentally and emotionally endurance i feel for you guys okay because i feel that there is a situation here where somebody might be taking advantage in terms of love with you guys and somebody might actually be putting their own welfare first before yours what's the reason for that you're enduring though mentally and emotionally well there you go because of eight of cups you're still in love with someone here for some of you guys i feel somebody does put themselves first here with the five of swords but you are enduring and you're holding on mentally and emotionally because Ace of Cups, you still feel that this situation can be resolved, that it can be healed with the Ace of Cups and that you're still feeling in love with this person and you still want something to work out. What's going on around your personal situation? How does this factor in? Well, you've got the Ace of Swords as being the situation around this. So it could be that the focus point around your present situation is about communication. But also the Ace of Swords can be about challenges, the start of a challenge, because with the Ace of Swords, it's about the breakthrough moment. The focus though around your personal situation might be on achievement and attainment and victory. So overcoming this situation in order to win through the day. Let's have a look though, how this manifests in terms of the present situation in June for your love lives, um, Pisces. While the Seven of Pentacles shows up here, and it shows you guys investing in a situation here. So the present situation could be saying in June that you guys will still be invested in this situation. It might be that there is slow progress in terms of this, whatever this love or relationship or whatever it is, or whatever it means for you, Pisces. But it could also be that there's a lot of evaluation going on here. I'm likely to think that you guys are still invested maybe in something here with the Seven of Pentacles because the focus will be on having a breakthrough with the Ace of Swords. It could be in terms of, especially if somebody is not communicating with you guys at the moment, you do have this Five of Swords here being the focus around why you're enduring and you're holding on to a situation with the uh, Strength card, Pisces. And that's because it could be somebody cut themselves off from you. If you look at this guy here, he's sending two people away, all right? Could also be that there are obstacles. Sometimes this is like the Devil card. Somebody else is in charge. Somebody holds the balance of power and it means it renders two people useless. So it might not be that somebody is only thinking about their own personal gain with the uh, Five of Swords energy, but it could also literally be, well, maybe there's an obstacle going on here. You're going to endure it because you think it's something worth fighting for. There's still love here. However, in the present, show slow progress with the Seven of Pentacles. You're going to get to your destination, but it's going to take some time. And also with the Seven of Pentacles, it's still investing in, it's still building. It's still watching the growth of a situation, which is why the focus point will be on having a breakthrough. But why is the present showing the Seven of Pentacles here? Let's have a look. Oh, funny enough, the devil showed up. Because of the devil. I feel that, I get a sense that there is... Um, uh, you know, you get the Seven of Pentacles and it's about that something has grown. There has been a manifestation. Seven Pentacles means manifestation as well. So there's been a manifestation and a growth in a situation here. However, this is because of the, um, the devil energy. Okay, so some of you guys, the focus point might be on still persisting, still waiting. Seven of, Pent Seven of Pentacles often represents somebody who's waiting. Okay, they're waiting for... Uh, something to really flourish and it might mean that you guys are still waiting here and that's because of the devil still attached still very feeling very strong bond within this relationship with that devil card and that's factoring through to the crowning energy your thoughts the focus point around the situation in you know you're going to have victory you're saying to yourself i'm going to have victory if i can just wait and why am i waiting well because i'm still attached to the devil Okay, I'm still waiting. I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for, you know, this thing to actually happen between me and this person. Or I'm waiting for things to get better in this relationship. What is your hopes around love in the month of June, Pisces? Well, the focus point is on healing. With the star card, it's also on things getting better. Because when you've got a star card, it means my hope it's all about the hope with the stars so the hopes are for the focus point is around hope and belief and healing and uh the focus point being that things are going to get better things are actually going to start looking up but what is it how does that manifest in terms of your hopes around this star energy here well, the hope is to work on this relationship. You've got an Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is the worker card. So when you're doing the Eight of Pentacles, you're literally working and bashing at something. So your hopes will be to work on this relationship because the focus point is around healing. So I feel the focus point with the star is around healing something within a relationship. 
in which your hopes are, well, if you can work on it, what is the reason for you wanting to work, though? The Six of Pentacles. Because you've still got something to give. Six of Pentacles means that I'm investing in something or someone. When you get the Six of Pentacles, this can be a bank investing in you. Bank giving you money. It can be somebody who's giving you help. It's, it can be somebody who's, you know. But also the Six of Pentacles can also show a nasty side of someone. Because if you look at the Six of Pentacles, it means that uh, sometimes this can mean that you're more invested than somebody else. Or you're investing a little bit more than someone else is. So it could be that your hopes are to work on this situation because you're investing a lot of your time and your energy into it with the Six of Pentacles. Okay? But I just get the impression that you're putting in more work than somebody else is here, Pisces, for some reason, in terms of love. I think that you're putting probably putting more work in, it would seem to me, um, into a relationship. Because I feel with the Five of Swords, it's almost like somebody's taking advantage but you're still holding out because you feel that this thing can be healed or you could still be in love. The focus around the uh, present situation in June is having some victory or breakthrough or winning a war with this Ace of Swords in which you are willing to wait because there is still for you a very deep bond there. It's something that you find very difficult to extricate yourself from. Which is why your hopes, well, the focus point is on having faith. That there will be healing in which you're hoping that you'll work hard, you'll both work hard at this relationship. Because maybe you feel it's something that's worth investing in with the Six of Pentacles energy. What's going on in your expectations though concerning love? Well, the focus point is the moon. The moon represents deep, uh, uncertain feelings. Feelings that are kind of uh, up and down. So really a, a, an up and down, an influx and an outflux of feelings uncertainty, insecurity. So it could be the focus is on, you know, not quite knowing exactly what's going on, Pisces. And this is actually your card as well, Pisces, this moon energy here. So the focus could be on the need to resolve this situation. The need to also use one's intuition. But also the focus is on some deep, deep feelings that need to be cleared and clarified and sorted out. But what is your expectation as a result of the moon? Ten of Wands. So it might be that your focus is on maybe there's a partner holding something from you because the moon means secrets and it means things that are hidden. So it could be for some of you Pisces people that, you know, here you guys are, you know, the focus around your hopes is hope. The star, that healing can occur because you're hoping that both of you will work hard because maybe, just maybe, this is something worth investing in. Eight of Pentacles. And that Six of Pentacles. But also that Six of Pentacles could be saying, well, your hope is to work hard. Maybe, just maybe, because you could be dealing with a player type with the Six of Pentacles. But it could also be that one of you has been investing more than the other. It could be you. And therefore, what you're expecting, though, and this is where the truth comes out. See, all of these energies, they, seem, they feel very exhausted to me. All I'm seeing is endurance, waiting, holding on can't let go, you know, working hard, it all, just the reading just feels tiring, just feels like you're really trying to put some effort into something here, but it shows up in the reality of the reading, um, Pisces, when we see really what you're thinking here, because the focus might be around in terms of your expectations, that you, your partner, whoever this is, it might be a fellow Pisces person, because it is a moon card showing here, but it might be that somebody's withholding something from you. So your focus on your crowning thoughts might be, well, there's somebody who's hiding something from me. There's a secret here with the moon energy. And therefore, what you're expecting is the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is a real struggle in terms of this relationship. But why do we have that Ten of Wands? Ten of Wands can also be that you're expecting that somebody's concealing something from you because this person hides behind wands. What's the reason, though, for the Ten of Wands? Because of the Five of Pentacles. Okay, now... Five of Pentacles is difficult in terms of love as well. Because Five of Pentacles can either mean that you stay with a partner through thick and thin, that there is still support here, all right? We could read it in two ways in terms of expectations. We could say, well, the focus is on some very, very deep emotions that might be shared with that moon energy, in which your expectations are to push forward because there is still support here with the Five of Pentacles. That's one explanation here, and that's the positive side of the explanation. The other explanation could be that what you're actually expecting is, well, the focus is around secrets, potentially with that moon card, 
in which you're expecting this person is not telling you everything. They might be avoiding something. And that's because of the Five of Pentacles. Are they having an affair? Five of Pentacles often means illicit affairs as well. What is it that's hidden from you that you're not seeing coming in or you're not seeing about the other person potentially? Well, the focus is around the chariot. Not a great card to get because the chariot can be either represents victory and success or it represents, if you look at, let me see, devil card is the same as this. One person who has control over two others. Same thing, same iconography. Same as five of swords. One person who has control over others. Same thing as the chariot card here. So what you're not seeing, it might be that if you are dealing with someone who you're having issues with, this person might be a little bit of a player. Chariots usually show up as player types as well within the tarot. But what is it you're not seeing as a result of this chariot? It might also be that the focus is around something to do with travel. But what is it you're not seeing? The two of swords. Okay, so the focus might be around... Um, and this is outside of yourself, so it's not what you what you're seeing not coming. It's what you're seeing coming. It's not what you're seeing, sorry, coming in. And that is the two of swords. It might be what you're not seeing is some form of stalemate, and that could be because maybe just maybe this chariot energy shows somebody who's in two minds. You see, this chariot it often rep represents somebody who's being pulled in two directions, opposing forces. So what you're not seeing, the situation might be that this person that you're dealing with could be a Cancerian individual, for example, or it could be an air sign maybe showing up here, okay? But the focus, so I, I think it could be a Cancerian, an air sign, or maybe a fire sign person, but I feel that what you're not seeing is this person's being pulled in two directions, maybe between you and someone else, and that's why it's manifesting as what you're not seeing with the Two of Swords is this person might be a little bit resistant Two of Swords can also show a resistant person. It can also show somebody who puts a wall up. But it can also show somebody who's quite guarded. So it might mean, with the chariot energy, they're being pulled in two directions here. Which is why it's manifesting as what you're not seeing coming in. This person might put their guard up. Especially if you've been, if this isn't a proper relationship, you've been seeing someone, they've been kind of in and out of your life, that type of thing. It might be what you're not seeing. This person may not call you. Two of Swords often really means that somebody doesn't call or somebody doesn't contact you. What's the reason for that, though? Because of the five of wands could either mean that there are other people involved in the equation with that five of wands could also mean that this person internally is going through some form of a struggle here with this five of wands energy it might also mean that this person doesn't communicate with you because they're sick of arguments between you guys okay which is feeding through to the chariot this person's conflicted here what's coming up immediate future wise for a relationship for a love and relationships in june for um for Pisces. Well, we do have the Three of Pentacles, so the focus might be on mediation, for example, especially if you're actually involved in a relationship with someone. The focus could be on mediation, however, it is a number three, so sometimes this can speak about a third spoke in the wheel. Sometimes this can mean to go out on a date, okay? So it does usually mean partnership and communication. So, Three of Pentacles could be that the focus around the immediate future will be around discussions, potentially, with this Three of Pentacles. How does this manifest in terms of the immediate future for this in June? Well, the full energy shows up in terms of this um, love reading. So the full in terms of love usually means a new opportunity. Or it can mean that I'm going to go through it again. Despite everything, it can mean second time around. But let's have a look at why we've got the full showing up for love. Ah, because of the Five of Cups. Okay, so... Um, I feel that this is for some of you guys, um, and it, we're seeing a lot of endings in relationships, I've seen in these readings. So you Pisces, it might be that with the full card you decide to let go, because full means to let go, it means to move forward and to explore other territories in terms of love. So it might mean with the five of cups, in overall in terms of love, that, you know, I get the impression that some of you guys, you're not in a particularly exclusive relationship with someone. I get the impression that somebody here in the, um, your expectations, you're expecting this person maybe to keep something from you. Possibly as well with that five of pentacles, because there's been some form of an estrangement within the relationship as well. Which is feeding through to the focal point being on the moon, not knowing what's going on having a lack of clarity in terms of the relationship. What you're not seeing, as we've said here, is this person, the focus might be that this person is in two minds, they're pull, being pulled in two directions. might also be that they're going out and having a good time and meeting other people with this chariot, which is why what you're not seeing coming in is this person may not contact you with the two of swords, 
because it could be that, that you've got other competitors, they've got other people that they're seeing with the five of wands. could also mean that there's some internal conflict going on with them. And therefore, it might mean with this full card, some of you Pisces people, you may be on your own with the full energy. And that's because of the five of cups. So you might be looking at kind of venturing out, okay, to other territories, sort of, you know, just kind of, you know, um, doing your own thing, following your own heart. Because maybe there's some loss showing up here with the five of cups. And this is feeding through to the situation being the three of pentacles. Okay, is this a workplace situation maybe going on here? I'm not sure. Because we've got the root issue being the Five of Cups, which shows classically loss in, emotional loss in a relationship. This is the reason, though. Okay, so this is the reason for this. I feel that this is you guys here with the Three of Pentacles branching out. This is what I feel this is. I feel you're getting to know other people for some of you guys. The focus is on expanding your network probably with the three of pentacles. Could also be meeting somebody within the workplace, that type of thing. Because I feel that what happens in June is the fall. And the fall is kind of, you know, I'm just going to let this, be carefree and let this situation go. Because I'm really upset about what this person's done. Especially if this person here is blocking some of you guys out with that two of swords. Therefore, the overall outcome shows for the month of June in terms of love, Pisces, the seven of swords. Seven of Swords is the focus for the overall outcome. This can show deceit, treachery, somebody who's been lying, for example. But how does that manifest as the overall outcome? Well, the lovers doesn't really tell us much, to be honest with you, because we've got the focus around this. The situation is a lie, the Seven of Swords, or it's a treacherous thing, or somebody's being deceptive. So the focus is on a deception here with the Seven of Swords in which the overall outcome is a relationship. But why do we have this relationship? What's the reason for it? Because of the King of Cups. That's interesting. Some of you guys, it might be a new relationship coming in here. King of Cups. I don't think it is, though. I think it's somebody coming back. I think this person doesn't call for some of you guys. And it's because it's the focus for them is on the, um, the chariot. They could be going out doing whatever. That's what happens with a chariot card. It's when somebody doesn't really have any romantic inclination. They just want to go out and explore. They're like, um, they're like a hunter or a fox. They hunt down what they want with this. Quick sex, easy sex, that type of thing. And that could be why it's manifesting as what you're not seeing, this two of swords. You might not even be on this person's mind. Especially if this is a loose relationship for some of you guys. It might be that you're not on this person's mind. To a source, they decided just to ignore or forget you, and that's because of the five of wands. It might be that they're enjoying other games with other people, or it might be that this is just too much of a frustrating situation. It might be the immediate future in June shows you guys you decide just to let it go with that fall because you're upset. So, because you're upset, you decide to focus on maybe building other relationships, possibly within the workplace, possibly just expanding your network with this three of pentacles. However, the overall outcome is showing the lovers an attraction. And that's with the King of Cups. But it's feeding through to this King of Cups. The situation around this person is the Seven of Swords. A manipulator. Somebody who's not very honest. I think it's somebody that comes back personally here. I think it's somebody that comes back. We'll go through the reading again. I think that what's happening here for some of you guys, and obviously this isn't going to relate to all of you, okay? So if it doesn't relate to you, then I'm sorry. This is what a general reading is. Um, I feel for some of you Pisces people, there is, the focus is on somebody who's taking the piss. All right, They're only out for their own self game with that Five of Swords. And there you are mentally and emotionally still holding out for that individual with the, um, with the strength card because you're still in love. You still feel that this situation can be repaired and it can be healed. And that's because in the present situation, your focus is on having a communication breakthrough with the Ace of Swords, a breakthrough of some sort, in which your focus will be in the present on waiting. Because you're still attached to the individual. This person's still got some form of a hold over you with the devil energy. Your hopes will be, well, the focus is on repairing. But also the focus might be on something that is distant from you. And it might also be on healing a situation in which your hopes are, well, we could work on this because with the Six of Pentacles, you've probably invested more than the other person has. And therefore your expectations are, well, 
focuses around some very, very deep feelings here in which you're expecting, well, if we push through, we'll get through it. And that's because of the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles can easily be a soulmate card, why not? Maybe you see each other as going through, you've been through this before. Maybe you've been through shit before and you're stuck together through thick and thin. However, it could also be here that the expectation is, well, this person's been playing funny buggers, I'm still holding out for them. But what I'm expecting is my focus is on this person's keeping a secret again. And what I'm expecting is when I ask this person, they're not going to tell me, they're going to hide it from me because of the Five of Pentacles. Maybe they've been having some illicit things going on with somebody else. Therefore, what you're not seeing is this person probably with the chariot gets around. They might have been pulled in two directions, but with the chariot, it can also say they're going out and they're having a bit of fun. And as a result of this, it might be what you're not seeing. This is why this person's blocking you out. They're not calling you. They're not thinking about you, for some of you guys. They're not contacting you. And why is that? Possibly they're having a bit of fun. Five of Wands can also be fun as well. Having a fun with others. Or maybe the situation with you is just too frustrating. The immediate future shows you guys as the, five, the full card. Well, the immediate future shows that you guys are probably just going to let this situation go and go on about your business. But that's only because you've been hurt and let down. And it feeds through to your focus on possibly work matters, developing situations with the Three of Pentacles with other people within the workplace, for example, or just developing plans and developing relationships, so on and so forth. Possibly focusing on your careers, that type of thing. The overall outcome, though, is that there is a relationship happening here, the King of the Lovers card, with a King of Cups. Now, that King of Cups is showing up because the focus around this, the crowning area, is the Seven of Swords. So if this is your crowning area and you're saying, you know, my focus is on deception, it might be as a result of that what manifests is the lovers. Possibly this isn't a relationship that says you make a head and a heart decision here because you can be the king of cups here, your Pisces. And you say, you know what, well, actually I'm going to make a head and a heart decision because emotionally I'm very self-aware and I don't need this kind of shit. I don't need somebody deceiving me and taking the piss. And this person's done that, which you could be why here with the fool card, you decide and you say, you know what, actually I'm just going to let go of this situation with the fool because this person really hurt me here. And therefore I'm going to focus on my career, probably building better relationships with this three of pentacles. And therefore the outcome is, well, you know, I've thought about it in the crowning area, okay, of that, um, of that Seven of Swords. I've thought about it, and this person's nothing more than a douchebag. They're just a liar with the Seven of Swords. And therefore, as a result of that, I'm going to make some very important head and heart decisions based on my emotional knowledge and my emotional security within myself to do that. However, for some of you guys, it could be, well, I decide to let go of this situation because this person hurt me. I focus on my work, I focus on my life, I focus on bettering myself, on making some plans for the future, maybe with that Three of Pentacles. And therefore my outcome is, well, Seven of Swords. The focus or the situation is around a liar. And what comes in is this relationship, possibly coming back again maybe with this lover's energy. And that's because of the King of Cups. But that King of Cups here is showing up Possibly because he's manipulating the situation. So I wouldn't be surprised for some of you guys, it will be a decision to completely eradicate something. For some of you guys, it will be a case of that somebody who's hurt you possibly coming back. But I wouldn't be surprised if this person kept doing this. Especially if the expectation is that this person is not going to tell you the truth or they're going to avoid something here because of the five of pentacles here. You know, or if you, in the expectations, there is the focus on a deep, deep... Um, bond with the moon card between you and this individual in which what you're expecting is the ten of wands you're expecting to ignore whatever this person's done because you believe that there is a very strong bond here between the both of you then we could easily see why the outcome from here would probably be that well this relationship comes back around again and that relationship comes back around because of this person the king of cups but however the crowning area showed that this person's here because he's being deceptive the seven of swords He's not telling the truth, he's taking the piss. So if for some of you guys, it could be that if somebody's not contacting you, if you're having some issues within Love in June, in May or you know April, May and in June, 
uh, things start up again with an individual. It could be, you know, you've been waiting, this person comes back in like they always do, and things go on again. But remember, you're avoiding what the issues are. And for some of you guys, you'll just make a decision based on your own emotional stability and awareness as a human being and your own self-value, which is what the King of Cups is, that this person is nothing more than a liar and a cheat. And therefore, I'm going to make some important decisions that are going to benefit me in the long run. That is your reading uh, for the month of June, your love reading for the month of June, Pisces, I would like to say. Thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe and I will see you guys again soon. Remember, you've got your general reading right next door, so make sure to check that out. And I'll see you guys in July. Take care.